How I run my boudoir sessions. Are you new to boudoir and you're not quite sure what a good shoot looks like? Worried that you might forget something really important and then look like a total rookie making silly mistakes in front of your client? Well, relax, breathe, I got you covered. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I run a successful shoot. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd, and I am a professional photographer in Silicon Valley, California. I've been in the game 12 years, and I feel like I've really got this process down. And I knew I had it down when I started getting referrals from my clients before they ever saw their photos. Like, we'd leave the session, and I would get emails or phone calls the next day from people who are like, hey, you shot so-and-so yesterday, they had the best time, told me I should book you. How do I get a shoot scheduled? And I'm like... You haven't even seen the photos yet. How do you know if they're any good? But it's because the shoot went so well, they're like, there's no way the photos can't be good. That is the kind of experience that you need to create for your clients. And then, of course, they love the photos. They spend a ton of money, and then, you know, the rest is history. So how do you get to that point? Well, I'm going to give you the five things that I consider when building a perfect client experience. Number one, preparation. Number two, the arrival. Number three, hair and makeup. Number four, guidance and assurance. And number five, shoot with the end result in mind. All right, so preparation, huge for ensuring the success of a photo shoot. This was not stuff I knew when I first got started, but I learned along the way. And I prepared materials and reminders and all kinds of things so that my clients are as prepared as they could possibly be before they even show up. That is huge because clients are going to get nervous. They're going to feel like maybe they're not good enough. They didn't pack the right clothes. Whatever it may be, boudoir is a very vulnerable experience. And if they've never done it before or maybe they didn't have a great experience or they're older, maybe a little heavier or whatever, they don't feel like they're going to be their best self in front of the camera, but they're doing this scary thing. Helping them prepare is going to really make this a great experience for you and for them. So some of the things that I do, prep guide. I have a really thorough prep guide. I mean, it tells them when to wash their face, what kind of things they can put on their face the day of the shoot, when to wash their hair leading up to the shoot. Should they get a spray tan? What do they wear to the photo shoot? Like what clothes do they arrive in? What should they pack? How many outfits? How do they even pick out their outfits? What does the timeline look like? I mean, everything that they could possibly need to know is in this prep guide. And it's as concise as it can be because I'm not going to send them a short novel. No one will read it. But I broke it up into very manageable pieces. I think the whole thing is about 20 pages long. But it covers everything from start to finish with sample photos and my clients love it. And I know they read it because there are certain things they show up with that tell me they've done so. And a lot of them will email me and just say, wow, this guide was super helpful. I had no idea. Thank you so much. So that is huge. Also, I send out email reminders. And these are all automated through my CRM. So I'm not actually having to think about any of this. They get a two-week reminder. They get a one-week reminder and a three-day reminder. The three-day reminder also asks them, what color sheets do you want on the bed? This serves two purposes. One, I want to have the bed all set up when they get here so I'm not, you know, doing laundry or making the bed while they're here. But also, I want to make sure they read the email and that they know they have a shoot in three days. So if they don't respond day of, you know, it goes out, say, Wednesday for a Saturday shoot. If I don't hear from them by Thursday afternoon, I'm going to shoot them a text or give them a call and just make sure they know they've got a shoot coming up. So it increases show up rates and I can be totally prepared when they get here. So... Those things are super important to helping your client feel prepared before they ever arrive. All right, number two is the arrival. Again, they're super nervous. They've probably never done this before. They have no idea what to expect other than maybe what's in the prep guide. And they need to be put at ease the second they arrive. And this happens before they even get out of their car. I have a welcome sign outside that has their name on it. It's big. It says, welcome their name, your courage got you this far, your confidence will carry you forward. That's one of the taglines of my business. And it's something I talk about a lot. You can't fake being confident. uh, And this applies to photographers as well. You can't pretend to be confident. There's no fake it till you make it. You choose to be courageous 
confidence comes from that. So this applies to you as much as it applies to our clients who are showing up for their boudoir session. When they come in, I greet them with a warm smile, say their name, welcome them in, offer to help them carry stuff from their car. Then we set their stuff on the clothing rack, we lay things out, and we immediately start going through what clothes they brought. I want to get them talking and explaining things to me and talking about what their mindset was and just getting them comfortable in the space. And then we pour a glass of Prosecco if they wanted or some bubbly water. I let them pick the music that we play. You know, we have Pandora stations and Spotify playlists. Some have their own playlists. They want to hook up to the speakers. We make this as comfortable and as welcoming an environment as we can. I adjust the temperature if they want it warmer or colder. I have a comfy makeup chair for them to sit in. All of this is thought out, and I didn't do it all in the beginning because I didn't know, but I've added these details over the years. This leads us into point number three, hair and makeup. My boudoir sessions all include hair and makeup. It is a non-negotiable. They cannot choose to do their own hair and makeup. They will get it done here with my stylist because... I know it's going to look good. Also, my stylist is going to be here assisting the whole time anyway, so she might as well go ahead and do it. But it's part of the warm-up experience. When they come in, they're super nervous, probably sweaty, I've had hands shaking, some clients didn't sleep the night before. I need to help get them into a better mindset before we can start taking photos. And when they get 90 minutes in that makeup chair of someone just pampering them and we're just having conversations, like real conversations, then... They're in such a good place before we start shooting. When it comes time to pick the first outfit, they're like not nearly as nervous as when they first walked in. So it's a warm up period as much as it's about the hair and makeup. Also, I don't trust people to do photo hair and makeup because it's different than going out makeup. My stylist I've worked with for nine years knows exactly what I need to achieve the end result that I want. So I know it's going to look good every time. And again, the clients appreciate it. So that's a huge part of the process. Not every photographer requires hair and makeup. Some make it an optional add-on. That's not how I do it. It's totally your choice. Just remember, whatever one you choose, you don't have to stay with it forever. Maybe try making it optional, see how it goes, and then make it mandatory later. Try it mandatory, make it optional. I don't know, it's up to you. Uh, But just make the choice with intention. All right, number four, guidance and assurance. People don't know how to pose. They don't know what to expect. They don't know what outfits are gonna work well. They don't know anything about anything. That's our job. So I tell my clients, bring eight to 10 outfits. We're going to shoot three or four. We always shoot four. So I tell them, bring eight to 10 because they're not going to know which four they're going to want to shoot in. So I tell them, bring extras. We'll help you pick. That guidance goes a long way because we can say, oh, this color is going to look great. Or you've got a lot of outfits in black. Let's pick something a little bit more variety, which also goes into point five, shooting with the end result in mind. I want more variety so they buy more photos. We'll get to that. Helping them pick out their outfits is really important, Uh, but also the posing. I look at their outfits. Do they have flowy fabric to play with? Do they have straps? Do they have buckles? Do they have garters? Things that we can interact with. I have different pieces of furniture, different backdrops. I have the bed. I have the floor. I have all kinds of stuff in my studio to guide them through. I tell them, you know, chin over, bring your elbow out, uh, elevate your rib cage, bring your nose forward, pop that hip out. I give them exact guidance on how to do every single pose. And I'll usually jump in first and do the pose. And then that totally breaks any sort of tension because they're like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, just get in and do this. And then they laugh and then I get them in position and then I can guide them into, you know, making the thing look perfect. And then I show them the back of the camera. This is part of the insurance, the assurance. I show them the back of the camera, like, look how freaking gorgeous you are. And they're always like, holy crap, that's me? And like some start crying. It's like, cool, we'll just dab the makeup real quick. But it's amazing. I'll usually show them the back of the camera two times during a session. And I'll wait until I have an image that just totally nailed. And it usually comes within the first... I don't know, dozen shots or so. These aren't super tight close-ups or, you know, other parts of the body. It's going to be like curvy lines, maybe a good booty shot if they told me they don't like their butt, something like that. I'm going to show them they're doing great because that always flips a switch. And now their guard is totally down and they will do any of the poses we guide them through. And there's just a new energy in the room. Uh, Also, my stylist is here the whole time. So she's helping adjust straps, move hair. My clients love that. And I take photos while my stylist is moving 
the bangs out of the way or adjusting the shoulders on the robe. Not while my clients are changing, but when I put them in the pose and my stylist is adjusting them, I take those behind the scenes shots. My clients love putting those in their album because that's part of the experience. They got pampered for three hours. Two people dedicated their afternoon to make sure she felt pretty. That's a big deal. And so those behind the scenes photos, again, shooting for the end in mind, they love those in the albums. It's a big part of the experience. So reassuring them that they look great, show them the back of the camera, they're doing a fantastic job. Just constant assurance goes a long way. That's when they walk out of here feeling like this was the best photo shoot in the history of photo shoots and they haven't even seen edited photos yet. So that's a huge part of it. And number five, I've alluded to already, shoot with the end in mind. I wanna sell albums, I wanna sell wall art. I'm gonna sell sequences that I can put on the wall in collages. I'm gonna sell a variety of images for different outfits, different pieces of furniture, different backdrops, different you know close-ups, half, three-quarter, full body shots. I wanna fill an album. I don't want someone to go through one round of culling, pick out their 10 favorite photos, and then that's it. I want them to struggle to narrow down their photos because there's so many that they love. Flow posing is a great way to do that. I have a book exactly on that. I'll link to it down below. Like I literally wrote the book on boudoir posing. So you can do that. And I guide them through all these variety of poses so that they have a huge selection of options to choose from and they're going to love them all. So that is how I run a successful boudoir shoot. It starts with preparation and then the arrival, then the hair and makeup, the guidance and assurance, and then shooting with the end result in mind. Because if you can't deliver great photos, then they're going to feel bad about themselves and like they couldn't do the photo shoot. They're going to take full responsibility for that, even though as photographers, it is 100% on us. So again, I've got the link down to my book on posing down below. Or if you want video walkthroughs on my lighting, my posing, how I sell, how I do everything, head to boudoirguild.com and you can see all my trainings there. But I've got other killer videos on this channel worth checking out as well. You are amazing. We'll see you inside.